Hi, good morning guys and welcome to today's Products in Focus. As you'll be able to see there, the US 30 smashed through its all-time high yesterday, actually closing towards the end of its top this range yesterday and is still just squeezing a little bit higher this morning, trading above 16,700. That's in the back of some, uh, some other uh, good earnings in the US and uh, extra news from AT&T with a $50 billion uh, bid for DirecTV. So still lots of uh, M&A activity on there and strong earnings helping to push those markets higher, even the backdrop of Ukraine, which I think market participants have decided is not going to have a huge impact on the US economy uh, anytime soon. Looking at the UK 100, it actually is just about broken its all-time ever high. It's just about there just now. It might, it might have even just broken it or touched it this morning. Quite exciting time, 68.74, but that potential resistance is still intact until we get a break and close above there. Uh, but global markets really uh, rallying on on the back of that as well. Uh, Chinese markets, Japanese markets, Indian markets all uh, going a little bit higher. China A50 having another um, another good run yesterday uh, overnight as well. But it's the Indian stock market most people are looking at as their elections are going on just now. Uh, some decent rallies over there uh, as the elections in India are pro-business and capital reform, kind of similar to, to China. So looking at Japan 25 there for a second, we did push, we're up about 2% at one point, uh, trading above that 21 period SMA. Um, still in the cusp of a downtrend though, we really need to get closer to 49.77 to, um, to get past this series of lower highs that we still continuously make. Potential support at 14.219. Um, we have seen the dollar surge across most markets as the US, co US economy uh, continues to show signs of life, uh, even in the backdrop of Dovish Yellen. Um, the dollar yen has uh, reversed uh, last week's losses and is now touching the 55 period SMA, soldiering on towards 102 spot 87, which is the potential resistance. So things a bit more interesting on that FX pair than they have been for a while. Jumping to the West Texas crude, it's not really doing too much just now. Right side of potential support at 100 spot 61. Um, Ukraine crisis not having a huge impact on there right now as uh, people are beginning to already look for alternative um, transportation for natural gas, uh, crude, etc., etc. And also Gazprom's come out and said that the Ukrainian issue will not impede um, European sales of, uh, of gas. So there's some promises being made there as ever. So looking at gold volatile day yesterday, as uh, most traders still looking at 1295 as potential resistance. Uh, yesterday was no uh, was no different. The market's closing pretty much bang on that same level and a slight overhang today. With that surging USD, it will make it harder for gold to make any concrete gains. So Euro dollar, Still looking, coming, looking really horrible after uh, Thursday and Friday's uh, Titanic sell-off. There, that level there, 37.72, uh, acted as potential resistance yesterday. It's acting as potential resistance again today. This level is the one to watch uh, throughout today's session. And uh, there is a little bit of economic data out today uh, on the backdrop of yesterday's vacuum. It's German GDP. Uh, my fact, that's already uh, would have come out. Let me just make sure I've selected the right date. Let's go forward. Um, we have had UK retail sales, which came out already. Um, industrial production over in China, which slightly disappointed. Uh, and we've actually got the ZEW business report in Germany and US retail sales due today. If we fast forward on to tomorrow, you can see more UK data. This could be good for cable. We're going to look at that to finish things up. And you've also got those petroleum sales, which could be a catalyst for West Texas. And if we just finish up with a bit of cable, um, Actually, a bit unexciting to be honest. Slap bang in the middle of two ranges. 68.20 is potential support. 69.23 is potential resistance. And I'm sure that surging USD is, ha is not doing cable any favors right now. Keep your eye on the chart forum for more updates from a global analyst team. There's lots of really interesting pieces on here right now. And make sure you make insights part of your layout. This is updates direct from our global analyst team to give you the inside track of what's moving the markets today. And uh, come and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.